Euh, hello everyone, um, I'm Adrian uh, from Kokono and uh, we developed a module uh, which is uh, called the uh, Account Payment Playbox and it's based on both uh, the Account Payment module from Tracken and uh, the Playbox system from the, the PM. Uh, before getting started, uh, let me say that uh, this presentation is a bit more uh, technical than uh, what we've seen before. Um, so, wait to serve, it's a bit more complicated. Um, so, what is Playbox? I'm pretty sure that uh, most of you do not know what uh, this uh, system is. Um, it's made for uh, secured and online uh, payment transaction uh, using your credit card number. Uh, it's um, basically the same thing that you can see on some. Uh, e-commerce websites such as Amazon or Price Meter. Um, this uh, payment system supports uh, 3D Secure uh, protocol. So it's, um, it's when your bank uh, sends you a text message on your, on your phone to, with an autobank authentication code um, which can be used by the, the, the buyer to, to approve the, the transaction. And, uh, this uh, ensure that uh, uh, the buyer is actually the, 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 the owner of the credit cards and uh, it's not a third and malicious uh, person we, which, uh, who has stored this card, this credit card. It's a kind of security. And uh, all the messages we send to Paybox and all the messages we receive from Paybox are digitally signed. So um, it's avoid um, data corruption uh, or if we have a third and issue person between the communication uh, between tables and uh, our trade uh, application. So um, what does uh, this module provide? Uh, first and obviously a new payment from our method because uh, we are based on the account payment uh, module. We provide a new payment, a new process method which is called Paybox. Uh, there is a new configuration section on a new Triton configuration file. Um, the name of the section is Paybox. Uh, yeah, the, the variable, uh, there is a few variables to fulfill with your Paybox uh, information. The details are in French, but uh, <laughs> the blame on me. Uh, it's uh, the Paybox name, not mine, so I'm not responsible for that. Uh, so all you have to know about these uh, variables and how to fill it if you are interested in this module uh, are, um, are uh, the information are in our uh, Git repository uh, on our Ruby. So uh, if you are interested, just take a look. I invite you to take a look on, in our repository. You see the link uh, in the last slide. We also uh, store a generated uh, and unique URL for the payment on the payment groups. Uh, this URL is valid for uh, 15 minutes. Uh, after that, uh, the URL expires and you, you won't be able to open up the URL for the payment. The, the payment variables uh, in the URL are uh, protected with the hash match uh, signature. So it's uh, Ensure that uh, you can't modify the, the data uh, such as the payment to pay in the URL. Uh, the, basically, the, the hash mark uh, security in this one, which is uh, 188, uh, yes, 188 bits long uh, string. Uh, we also provide an LGS callback server. Um, this server is used to update the state of your payments in your Triton uh, backend database because uh, Paybox will call back us uh, when the transaction has been uh, proceeded. Uh, of course, the messages sent by Paybox are digitally signed using uh, its private key, so we ensure that the message comes from uh, Paybox itself and not uh, someone else, which uh, should be bad for, for us. Um, you can deploy the Node.js callback server using uh, Docker. We provide all the stuff 
to deploy it with the Docker, or you can just run the callback server using the, the Node.js command. Um, here is the architecture of uh, the internal architecture of uh, the table module. So basically, we have a Triton uh, client, which is uh, doing uh, all the stuff we have to do with the Python server and the backend database. The fact is that when you're uh, doing your workflow to process payments in the, the payback process methods, it will open up, uh, if you click on the URL, it will open up your favorite browser uh, and bring you, bring you directly to the payment page where you can type uh, your credit card numbers. It's a secure uh, URL, of course. Then uh, Paybox will proceed the transaction and it will call back uh, our callback server, of course, which it will, uh, of course, <laughs> check the signature. Uh, and if it is valid and the data are not corrected, it will call the Python server to update the payment states according to the, the state of the payment transaction. Otherwise, if the signature has been uh, uh, activated, so it will just throw the message away and log the new one. Um, the next uh, slide is a short video, uh, a recording video that I will commence. Um, the, this, this module uh, requires uh, a reachable endpoint, and uh, we don't have a development for that, so I can't do a like demo for this. So I recorded a video um, that I will commence. Okay. <laughs> okay. So maybe I uh, improvise. <laughs> maybe we have internet. Ah. No, it's uh, it's stored in the Google Drive, but it's the same link. It's a YouTube link. Well, uh, it's supposed to be uh, more available. Yes, yes, if you have any questions. <laughs> uh, you put 
the canon chain in the configuration yes. divide. But uh, why not store it on the journal? Like that, you could have multiple journal in different accounts, like paper, three box accounts, or even for multi company. Uh, because the secret uh, shouldn't be printed in the journal, uh, yes. You could do the next strike. Yeah, but to yeah, yeah, it. it could be. But for the first, it's a fair version of the yeah. open to any suggestion. But the, the, the fact is that we just put it in the threatened configuration file, such as the email configuration. Yeah. We can do that. Uh, we, we could. We could. All right. So, okay. So on the, on the left side, you have uh, just a tracked application, an open tracked application, on which I will be doing some action. Uh, the, it will be the, the basic workflow to process payments using the Paybox journal. Uh, here on the right is uh, Browser Open, which is not Opera at all. <laughs> and <laughs> Firefox. <laughs> and uh, just there, you can see that there will be a printed because it's the core box amendment. Uh, you won't see it, I guess. You will have to trust me. So, um, basically, all you have to get is, new, is a new payment journal using the paybox process method. Uh, and of course, you will need uh, some payments in the apostates to process it. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, I process the payments. And, sorry, it will, cre it will create a payment mood. The payment book. Um, so the, the payment is now in the processing state and no more at home. So here, as you can see, I have the number which is 95. Um, I'm going to put it here. Um, the number of the payment books um, uh, for Paybox is the, the reference that will be used by the, the Paybox callback to audit the payment books. So, this reference is really important. Um, as you can see, there is a new payment here also here. I'm able to click on it, uh, and it will open your browser directly on the payment page. As you can see, the, the re transaction reference is the same as the number of the payment book. So I will intentionally type some bad uh, credit card number to fail the transaction now. Um, just to, you won't see, but I will get the callback. <laughs> yes, I got it, <laughs> but you can see. Um, I received something from Paybox, and the number that you can see is the same. That's the, the number of the payment. Yes. It's maybe the, the big there. Thanks, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Um, I have a code here, which is different from zero. Uh, when the code is different from zero, it means that there is an error. So the payments have been failed. And we have a signature here, which is valid. We don't have any error here. So the payments, if I refresh the, the payments in the threat notification, uh, it should have been updated. And it is no more in the positive state, but the payment is not failed, as you can see here. Uh, as I said previously, uh, the URL is valid for 15 minutes, so it hasn't expired yet. I'm able to do to get into the payment page again, so that's what I'm going to do. This time, I will uh, use the real fake numbers, uh, which are provided by Paybox uh, to succeed the payment for the test. Uh, right. So as you can see. When I will pay this. Okay. So now the payment is succeeded, the payment has been accepted by uh, Paybox. So we receive the money, maybe. Uh, I received something from Paybox again, but this time the code is zero, which means everything is alright, so the transaction has, success, uh, has been successfully. Um, and now the payment is updated as in, in the succeeding state. So um, if uh, the payment failed, and um, you don't know why it has failed. Uh, you can use the, the reference of the payment book and go into your back office uh, admin panel of your payroll account, and you will see all the logs. Uh, thank you. 
and you will see all the logs, uh, what happened, why your payment has failed. It's maybe more it meaningful than the, the, the code, the full code, and we don't know why this is. And of course, you can't pay twice the same payments. Once they've been succeeded, you can't do it again. The, the payback page will just fail uh, and show you an error. So let's conclude uh, in this uh, payment module, uh, this account payment module. Um, yes, I am coming from the question.
I will show this in, uh, in the demonstration. It's a button on the attachment. Uh, the server will, will return the URL, and uh, this URL is the URL that uh, is used for uh, to, uh, to process the signature. Uh, once we go to uh, this uh, web page of uh, Universal, we are requested to uh, check some uh, uh, some checkboxes and uh, to, uh, to validate that uh, we are the, the right person. Uh, there is an SMS validation uh, that, uh, that is made. And uh, once all is OK, uh, we, can, uh, we can find the document. We have a back, uh, callback URL that is called uh, from uh, Universign to update the status of, uh, of the document on, uh, on Triton. And uh, the document is uh, archived within uh, Universign uh, infrastructure. So we can call it at any time. We can call with the ID uh, the platform to get uh, the document which is uh, signed. Simple. Uh, the screens also are simple from uh, on on right. We use this uh, module more on uh, on the web uh, our uh, port uh, in in, um, in backend, but uh, we have implemented the process from uh, on uh, on right and client to uh, to get the feature ready for uh, for for usage. So. Uh, this uh, this module is a, is a standard module on, uh, for for Triton. It for we have the same uh, branch names as uh, as Triton. So right now we put, it's working on uh, version 4.4 uh, of Triton, and I think that we will uh, we will migrate uh, soon to uh, 4.6, and it will be updated. I don't think that there will be changes, but uh, the idea is that uh, we are uh, we are following the same uh, version of Triton. I have taken a small screenshot of uh, our readme. The idea is uh, to have, uh, like, a, like for a uh, payload module, uh, some uh, set of uh, configuration elements to uh, just uh, the server of Universal, username, password, and uh, here are the <coughs> URLs. It's a kind of template to uh, to get uh, if we want to uh, to call a specific page for the attachment. Uh, Python will uh, will make them will 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 set the IP of the attachment at the right uh, in the right place. Uh, the callback is not uh, mandatory. So right now, uh, what you will see on uh, on the demonstration, I will click to a button to check. I have I have the possibility to uh, to check the state uh, from my universal site. But uh, this is a good uh, good idea also to to update the backend uh, automatically. Is there a security? Because I see only the ID, so... Uh, it, uh, they, uh, from the sign uh, side, uh, they don't do any security because they call it just the callback. Uh, but uh, in, uh, depending on, uh, on the way that what, in which we uh, use the, the module, it, uh, it, it could be a static page uh, where, where there is no, no, um, no effect on the attachment and we will check manually. Or it would be a page uh, in, in our portal uh, site. We use the same uh, cookie uh, that is used by the client who made uh, <coughs> the signature to return back to the page. And the uh, reload of the page will check the, uh, the status of the, uh, the attachment. So it will depend on, on the implementation. I will try to demonstrate this. Uh, <coughs> So I will make a demonstration on uh, on a real uh, demo uh, demo environment. Uh, it's not, it's not local environment. Uh, I will try to create an attachment on my uh, on the box.
And now what we have added to uh, the, the default screen of uh, attachment is uh, this folder. I need to pick a, a signer. I will take the same party. The idea here is uh, we can attach uh, documents to any, uh, to any model that's right. So we are not supposed to be on, uh, on the party. So that's why we, uh, we look for, uh, we have a, a relation between uh, the attachment and, uh, and the sign. <coughs> Uh, once I have uh, this done, I can uh, make a request to Universal. Uh, this screen is a little bit technical. I think that uh, it should not be there for uh, for a long time. But it's uh, I have I'm uh, I'm setting there all the all the exchange all the all the technical exchanges uh, with the platform. So uh, once uh, issued, uh, I have an, ident uh, an identifier of. Uh, from uh, Kitlerer, and uh, I should be able to to, uh, to process to signature. I should also have an email. Okay, the document. And since I have uh, I have set my my real uh, full number in, uh, on my party, so I have uh, I have a uh, text message. So we have seen that the callback was to the site, and since I'm not authenticated for the site, so I, uh, I pull up to uh, the login page. Uh, I'm returning back here, and I check my uh, my signature, and I can have. I, we can see here there are two uh, two, uh, two links for the attachment. The first one, and the second one here we see a strange number, so, because since we don't have really the file system, we call for it. For uh, each call, uh, I set the default size in uh, just a workaround to uh, have something there, and uh, I can. Here I have I have loaded the document from uh, from the website and it's signed the DDFI. It's okay for my demonstration. Do you have a question about that? It's okay. I, I have a question about the way she can be either of a lot of terms. What do you mean to call it? Inside of the relation? Uh, no, it's, I will talk about this. Uh, I have just two slides oh, okay. to speak about uh, what is the business case. For, for the two for the two modules. Yeah. Um. Ah. So uh, what I wanted to talk about is that uh, why we are developing such such modules. Uh, we are just replacing to uh, service provider for uh, electronic payment, electronic signature, and stuff like that. I think that it's, it's just a reality on, in our business model. Before we, uh, in uh, 1919, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we were just, uh, COP was just a police administration, administration system. It's just a back office with uh, processes that are uh, configured to, uh, to manage uh, insurance policy. So we, we have kind of uh, added value, but uh, Basically, we, we are changing uh, legacy systems, old systems, in uh, to new technology, uh, more agile, uh, modern, but without real uh, added value. We are we are just replacing one piece of code by another piece of code <coughs> that is making the job mm, sure um, in a better way uh, that can be deployed, uh, it can escape, and uh, all of the technical stuff. But in the business point of view. We don't really uh, add something to, uh, to to the to the insurer or to, to, the, to, to the broker business. And uh, what we have changed uh, 
this uh, to work is that uh, today we are we are asked to, to do uh, <laughs> to do uh, things differently. So we uh, today our, our clients are asking us to uh, to uh, to be uh, the uh, behind the comparator of uh, insurance. They are asking us to uh, start a new business from scratch, and uh, they want to uh, to make client acquisitions from website, uh, from uh, any other different channel, and uh, to, uh, to to make what we, we used to do uh, since uh, four or five, five years to uh, to manage the life cycle of an insurance contract, but uh, they are asking us more and more things and. Uh, Response to your question is that uh, paying uh, by uh, Visa card or signing a contract uh, online is uh, is a key feature to uh, to attract clients. The idea today uh, for simple insurance contracts, we are making quotation on uh, online uh, subscription online uh, for simple and basic uh, risks. We are doing the contract. The client will pay, we issue the contract, he will print his, uh, his contract and he doesn't need to, to, uh, to move and uh, to, to go to his broker uh, or to speak for And I think that today, I think that it's, it's obvious that this is the reality and uh, we cannot do uh, differently. So that's why we, are, uh, we cannot do all of the stuff uh, inside for uh, electronic signature. I think that it's, uh, it's another job. So today we are just connecting with other services to uh, do the job and uh, to make our clients uh, do business. Uh, that's all. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, to make the signature, we have to upload the document. Yeah. To sign. Uh, yeah. yeah. uh, but do you do you don't feel about it? Confidentiality. Uh, if you you may the one that in the sign is all your, your contacts. I think that the other way around. Uh, in the line, uh, by uh, signing the document, store the document for 30 years. So you know uh, when you use the Linga sign, it's your uh, safe. For your agent. So you if if they are accredited, accredited to to uh, to, uh, to keep to keep files. Yeah, and confidential. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So, so, uh, it's a big provider and uh, we don't choose Universal. Usually that's, uh, we, we, we can, our customers, we want to work with Universal, we pay work with uh, these providers and we, we bring some uh, know-how in insurance and uh, we should connect all of them. Oh, Universal? Know that your customer who is signing is really the customer is really who is said is ah you to make a good and a good mail and for that's enough for this information to send to the website to check the information our job is just to provide uh, these two information and uh, it's their their job maybe they have uh, uh, external database. To, uh, to cross the data and know uh, if, if it is really the right person. Maybe if the, the phone number is uh, registered with another name, they will uh, they will not uh, process the transaction, but it's their job. That's, uh, that's the point. Um, for, for electronic invoicing, we will have similar uh, cases in the future. Now, the question is, uh, that if you assign a PDF, uh, general purpose PDF, you have only a human readable document. If you embed some XML to, uh, uh, to, to, to put inside the, the same information as the key uh, points of the uh, PDF document, you get also inside the document uh, a machine readable document. Uh, so maybe it's, uh, it could be also uh, converging uh, format because now the electronic invoicing is formatted, uh, uh, registered, it is uh, official. So um, uh, it could be uh, a similar process between the two, uh, the two systems. 
And I just thought about this. If you, if you keep a document for 30 years, well, it's difficult to, um, to, to say that uh, in 30 years from now, you will have to read it manually uh, with someone uh, instead of just uh, getting the information uh, by, uh, by, by a computer. I didn't get the point. The idea is that we, uh, the PDF is just uh, a placeholder when, when we keep some, uh, some piece of data in, uh, in XML format, for example. Today, for uh, electronic invoicing, mm -hmm. the PDF format has evolved, yeah. so it can embed XML to describe the key information for machine readable documents. Yeah. And I think that um, if you uh, think about this kind of format, you will get an extra uh, functionality because we are talking about a 30 years uh, archiving uh, of the okay. Okay. I, I think that, yeah, uh, 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 Universal will sign the document. I think that maybe they will uh, provide extra services on specific documents with, uh, with this kind of data because uh, we haven't seen the difference between the two documents, but uh, uh, when signed, uh, there are some uh, the file instead, it has been altered. There are some extra data that has been added to the document. And I think there are many options that uh, we don't choose now. Uh, typically, we can, uh, we can add some uh, visible data on, uh, on the document to say that it has been uh, timestamped uh, at the at date and time. So I think that we don't have, we, we, we don't have uh, many stuff to do to have uh, to, to get what uh, what you are describing uh, working with, uh, with that mechanism. Yeah, I don't think you have to change anything. The, the fact is that if you just a uh, high human mm -hmm. readable document, you have this level of functionality. But if you put inside the new format for PDF, mm -hmm. which embeds the XML for machine mm -hmm. readable, you increase the added value for the customer. But the question is, uh, we supporting? Uh, is there any roadmap on our writers to, to support uh, this kind of templating on or uh, video generation? So that that's the point. Yes, it's a, so it's, it's a convergence. It's a yeah. convergence effort. Um, yes, yes, it was to to underline this point. I think that they, they, that, that that's, uh, some components to to join, and uh, we can have uh, um, the job done. So maybe you could speed up the process in trying to, to embed the SMM. The, the module is here. Uh, we, are, uh, we can make support for, it, uh, for, for this module for, uh, for paybots. Uh, we have a couple of other modules which are uh, open and uh, ready to use. So we need just to, maybe we need to make some effort to make them uh, instead of uh, Available on, uh, on Python uh, as a base package, but uh, they are compliant with uh, Python. We are using them uh, in production. What is the cost of those services? Cost? Yeah, how much? How much time? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 uh, you, uh, we have no, uh, no relations. Mm -hmm. that's uh, our customer has a, 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 a contract with the payback directly, so they pay uh, based on the event. Yeah. And uh, when, our, when uh, our customer is an old client of the payback, so we have a cheap price, but now the, the, the price are more expensive. And uh, for any other sign, uh, uh, for any other sign, you can choose either the client can sign the contract with any other sign, or you can go through uh, our platform. But is it expensive? Yes, I have some prices here. Um, we have a blind pack of 25 signatures, 49 euros, pack of 50, 97 euros, pack of 500, 899 euros, and if you have uh, a higher level... Is the storing uh, is the storage? Yeah. Uh, I read it from the web page, so... Advertising for our uh, universal. <laughs> <laughs>
We are not earning anything on, uh, we don't get commission on that, so. You can send a, a very serious bit with all your customers. Split is a good idea, but I should make a service. Can you make it sign of by multiple people? Uh, good question. Uh, it's supported by Riverside, but not yet on uh, We need that to, to change the uh, mini one to a mini two and So thank you very much. Do you have anything to verify those signatures in your module? Uh, what do you mean, uh, verify signature? Uh, well, signatures are used to achieve temporal proofing. Um, so, is there a way to verify if the uh, document was temporal or not by that signature? No, we don't, don't do the check since we, we are uploading directly the document from uh, from the provider. So we don't uh, we haven't worked on. Uh, any kind of, uh, of check. But, uh, but I just thought it might be useful for this module if you are making it open source. Uh, uh, I don't understand uh, the so point. To achieve that for proofing, so you are using, uh, you are sending it directly, so you don't need to achieve temporal proofing on your side. But if someone else will use your module for other purposes, maybe someone would want to verify signatures on Triton side. But uh, why you should do this? Because uh, Universal uh, verifies the signatures. Um, it yeah, is verified by them. You request the signature from them and they verify uh, the document. You can download, I think, the document from uh, Universal. Yeah, we, don't, we don't store the signature document. Anytime we equate it, we uh, we grab it from uh, from the universe yeah. in uh, endpoint. So thank you. Thank you.